What does the ocean mean to you? It's much more than a vast expanse of blue. It's so much more than meets the eye. It's 97% of water's life containing hundreds of thousands of species and a source of food for our species, providing one half of the oxygen we breathe. And that's just a few feet of this great complex machine. But the machinery of industry that has tainted this important resource for you and for me. Fossils that were sought to fuel progress now may be said to fuel regress, inciting acidity, increasing sensitivity, declining life in the sea. Oxygen depleting and struggling for breathing as the temp of our dear planet changes. Can we attempt to change this? This can be reversed, like the tides that try to rip us apart, but we are stronger than the polymers and the tons of plastic that we strive to remove from the ecosystem. We are a system, one, that can avoid any more extinction if we bond covalently together like the molecules we try to preserve. We can achieve more than we know. The alternatives are out there, and we're on the path to get there like solar and power from moving air, not for our oceans to be drowned in oil in times of a company's toil, or having to dissolve chemicals like if there were just more grains of salt where our footprint would not be made of carbon but rather of sustainability, not of degradation but of renewability. Yes, there is EPA who's passed the SPA, MPRSA, and MDRPRA, but hey, an acronym alone cannot save the world. We have to save our world. We have to change our ways or else numbered are the days. The ocean is an immense resource and harming it affects the climate. Questions and questions always arise how the climate can change but the question is can we